Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video for today. This is going to be our part two of building up the downtown. I would like to build up a city skylines pier. Let's get started. So the city of Tantrum identified this part of our city to build a pier. Now the pier we are trying to go off of is called the Steel Pier in Atlantic City, which is in New Jersey. Now you can tell from that website that I used that this pier is, it's very narrow. So Atlantic City is kind of like the Las Vegas of the Northeast of the United States. So what you'd find around Atlantic City is a bunch of different casinos, hotels, bars, and restaurants. Essentially that this is a giant tourist trap and that's kind of what we're going for in this part of our downtown build. We need a place where all of our citizens that live downtown and work downtown, they need something to do. So on the screen right now, you can see I did build a pier and I did fill it in with dirt just to level out everything. So the piers that I am using are from the City Skyline Steam Workshop. So if you see on the screen right now, it is called Big Piers the Boardwalk. So what's really cool about these boardwalks are that you can actually see the wooden beams that are supporting the boardwalk itself. So it really is like a very cool boardwalk and it turned out very well. Now that we have a pier layout, what I wanna do is I want to terraform. So what I'm doing over here is I'm trying to create a flat surface where I also soften the terrain, but I wanna create an area where we can have those hotels, we can have those bars, we can have those restaurants, where people can visit and hang out. And again, this is supposed to be a tourist destination. So what you're gonna see happen a few times as I am using the Move It tool is I'm gonna have to level out everything and kind of adjust the nodes of the pier. Now, I did not completely accomplish this just yet in the build, but anyways, let's keep going. So remember, this is going to be a park area and what I'm also doing is, so I district the park and now I'm districting the tourist area, part of our city. So now that we have that in place, we can actually start to build the amusement park. So obviously we have the amusement park entrance and now remember, everything needs to be very tight when creating this park. So right now I added the plaza in the center. I feel like the plaza is like the center of all places at Disney World or Six Flags. Okay, maybe six, not Six Flags, but Disney World and a few other places. But right now I'm just trying to get the layout and trying to figure out how to keep everything as tight as possible. So right now I'm building the road layout for the amusement park. So what you're gonna notice is that first and foremost, I do have to keep leveling everything out because we want everything to be the same exact height in the amusement park. Now the second step was the part that kind of threw me off was I wanted to build a roller coaster and a Ferris wheel both in the, on the same pier. And obviously the steel pier in Atlantic City had that so um, essentially I did have to redesign the, the road layout but essentially I did fit everything that I really wanted so right now I am adding the board games I'm adding the little rides remember in our boardwalk picture everything was very condensed and everything was very much together and what I mean by that is like right now I'm trying to crunch everything on this pier as best as possible now, everything in city skylines um, from the amusement park industry, I honestly can't fit it. I don't have enough room and I don't have enough space. So right now I'm just in a mode where you pick something and you're trying to fill it in. So we're, we filled in bathrooms, we have souvenir stalls, we have a restaurant, we have all of our small little rides that you know would fit perfectly on the pier. I think Steel Pier would be very proud of what we built so far. We fit a lot on this pier and it overall looks amazing. So now the part that you see, this is our third part of our build, is this is where I wanted to create the tourism side of things. So right now I do have a road layout and I do have a road back there, but this was necessary. That one road was completely necessary. I wanted to build a giant parking lot where people can park the cars and stay. Basically, 
we're gonna build a lot of hotels in this area and people are gonna need them. So as you can tell, as I keep moving along, I am using the move it tool just to level out everything and you're gonna see me use it a lot in this video. And so right now I am picking out restaurants and commercial and tourism just to create, again, create these shops. You know, we want people to walk around, visit, hang out for a long time. So you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna see hotels, bars, restaurants, you're gonna see all those along the boardwalk, on the boardwalk. Again, in Atlantic City in real life, they actually do have this. They do have restaurants on the on the pier. They do have it on the boardwalk. So, you know, I just tried to do my best in just trying to keep all of that together and just try to keep the feel of Atlantic City as I kept building this. So right now we do have our Starbucks, we do have pretty much everything and people, will, I definitely think people will come and obviously this is a tourism district. So, you know, people we're gonna, are gonna come regardless because the rendered buildings will have tourism. So as I finished plopping a lot of buildings, I did start to detail it. I did not record all of it, but here is the final product of the pier. And first and foremost, I think this turned out absolutely amazing. So the big pier, by the way, that I downloaded from the City Skyline Steam Workshop, cars can obviously drive on it because guess what? You can see that right now. But overall, I think this turned out great. The parking lot, the detailing, the hotels, the tourism, I think overall it was really nicely done. And right where you see that one straight road, I do have a couple bus stops where people can come in and out of the city or in and out of our tourism park. I did build a beach with a lot of different detailing and I'm just very happy with the way everything was built. I am enjoying the fact that my downtown build is taking a really long time. This is only part two of my downtown and I'm really trying not to rush everything at all. And I think doing it in parts has definitely made the city in general look amazing. And this is just another part of it. Like it's really important to take that time, take that detailing and build it up as you go. You don't want to create one downtown video and be like, bam, this is our downtown and we're done. You can see the downtown in the back, but you know, like I said, I'm not trying to rush. So thank you very much, bye.